Hello students, welcome back to Rosy Maths class. In today's video, we are going to learn about Brahmagupta's rules for addition. This is for class 6, chapter number 10, the other side of 0. Brahmagupta's rules for additions. There are in total 5 rules given in your textbook. And this is a new textbook which was released by NCRT last year, that is 2024. So let us start with the rules. The first rule is the sum of two positives is positive, which means that when we add two positive numbers, we always get a positive number. For example, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Similarly, 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. The second rule is the sum of two negatives is negative. To add two negatives, add the numbers without the signs and then place a minus sign to obtain the result. It means that when we add two negative numbers, we always get a negative number. So to add the negative numbers, you just add the numbers first without the sign. Do not take the sign, just add the numbers how you would do addition, same way you have to do it. And then you put the minus sign. For example, if I want to add minus 2 and minus 3, so I would do 2 plus 3 that is 5 and just place the minus sign before 5. So the answer would be minus 5. The third rule is to add a positive number and a negative number subtract the smaller number without the sign from the greater number without the sign and place the sign of the greater number to obtain the result. Now this means that when we are adding a positive number and a negative number, when we are adding a positive number and a negative number, we actually subtract the smaller number from the greater number and forget about the signs. Okay, just take the smaller number and the greater number, do subtraction and then you take the sign of the bigger number. For example, minus 5 plus 3. So we will do 5 minus 3 which is 2 and 5 is bigger here. 5 is greater. So we will take the sign of 5. So the answer is minus 2. Second example, 2 plus minus 3. 2 is positive, minus 3 is negative. So we are adding a positive number and a negative number. So we have to subtract 3 minus 2 which is 1 and 3 is greater. So take the sign of 3. It will be minus 1. Minus 3 plus 5. 5 is greater. 3 is smaller. So we will do 5 minus 3 which is 2. And since 5 is greater and it is positive, the answer would be positive 2. The fourth rule is the sum of a number and its inverse is 0. It means that when we have a number and we add it to its inverse, that is the additive inverse, we always get a 0. For example, 2. The additive inverse of 2 is minus 2. So when we do 2 plus minus 2, we get a 0. Similarly, if I take minus 5, additive inverse is positive 5. So if I do minus 5 plus 5, that will be equal to 0. The last rule is the sum of any number and 0 is the same number. So this is a very basic rule that when we add any number and 0, we always get back the same number. Minus 2 plus 0 is equal to minus 2. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Well, these were the 5 rules given by Brahmagupta. And if you know these rules thoroughly, it will help you in addition of integers. Thank you.